Hi everybody, welcome back to Hecker Dudu's channel. Today I have a collective haul and also to share a, a postcard um, entry that I had uh, entered and because um, I since I did it, I got something back and I wanted to show you really quick what I received. Um, it was from Rachel, who who's from Lacar 11 um, it was Jamie who did the first, that I found out about the postcard challenge and she um, told us to go to uh, Rachel's channel and I go ahead and sent a postcard from where I'm from, I'm from California and she got back to me and I received her package and here it is right now, this is her little package that she got me. At first I was like, who sent me something because she didn't put a name, she just put her address up here and I, I covered my address and I was kind of like, oh, well, let's see what this is and then I looked at my, there's like, a makeup in here. First thing I saw, of course, was this makeup, and it's really cute. It's an Almay lip gloss. Really pretty color. I'm starting to get into like lip glosses, and I don't have any Almay lip glosses right now, so I thought this was really cool. So here's that. And then I went and looked inside. At first, she gave me. I saw the postcard. I was like, "Oh, this is so cute! Isn't it beautiful?" Um, I'm gonna read this. Um, I don't think it's anything too personal, but she explained what was on there. It's a picture of Fellows Riverside Gardens in, um, in the Mill Creek Metro Parks, uh, Youngstown, Ohio. And she wrote, This is a nearby park that I love to go to with my family. No matter the season, there is always something beautiful to look at. Hope this postcard finds you well. Rachel Lacar, 011. And it's really, really cute. And she put all these little stickers on it. And I really like that. So thank you so much for that. And then she also sent me another card, too. A really pretty card. Uh, it's a pretty card in... And pink envelope and it was like these butterflies it's so pretty and she just wrote a little something by saying you know thank you for uh, entering my postcard giveaway and I enjoy getting your postcard I'm hoping to click from every state so if you guys are um, from a different state that she hasn't she's been posting like videos to say which postcard she's been receiving but I think she still has a few places that she hasn't received stuff from so I'll go ahead and link her channel below and you can look for her information and her um, address there if you want to go ahead and try it because she'll give you something and it's really nice so I hope you enjoyed the Elmay I got a really good deal on them a few weeks back hope all is well Rachel at Carp 011 so thank you so much Rachel so today's collective haul is from the 99 cent store and the Dollar Tree I had gone to two different Dollar Trees um, last night and I went the night before that I went to a 99 cent store um, 99 cent store I really didn't have a chance to really look around I'm always in a hurry when I'm there because I'm always out with um, my mother so um, she has an agenda to do stuff and I don't have a chance to like really kind of look around at the same time when I'm at the 99 cent store I've commented on somebody else's channel I believe it's um, Tasha's channel and I get a little um, overwhelmed because there's just so much stuff. If you ever guys have been to a 99 cents, there's so much stuff to look at. You really got to have to look around and stare at stuff. So basically I go there usually to buy vegetables and fruits and salads and stuff because my two dogs, they like to eat um, carrots with me and some salads. So we eat that together all the time. So I like to go there and buy that kind of thing, those kind of things. And then sometimes I stop by the stationery and I found a few, few things this time, but not much. Actually just two styles of things and the rest I had to leave. So here we go. First off, I walked by and I went to the stickers. The last time I had picked up the Paris uh, Minnie Mouse stickers and then I found more. Um, they're Mickey Mouse ones. I got two of each and I'm giving this to the same person I was going to give the Minnie Mouse ones to. So there's Mickey Mouse and these are kind of a sportier look. I don't know if you can see that. This is like tennis. I don't know if they're going to use it because these are all more sporty, but because it's Mickey Mouse and it's Disney, I thought, hey, might as well get it to be part of the collection because I had mentioned, like, I wish they had more other kinds of Disney stickers, and lo and behold, I go to the store and I found one, so. And then this one's the snowboarding one. I thought that was neat. Okay. And I got two of those. I got one for myself and um, just neat to have. So, and the last thing I picked up, I told you I didn't really buy much. I found these Pentol... RSVP pens and these when I was working before I used to be a social worker um, these pens were very expensive and I think they still are if you go to like an office supply store like Office Depot Staples or Office Max or whatever and I that's like five bucks or so for at least two of these but I found this one and this is a um, purple one 
Um, this isn't the first one I found, actually. I actually, what would draw me the first time was because I saw it. Because uh, INC also makes pens that kind of look like this. I guess it's like a generic version of these pens. But um, when I saw it, I had to look closely. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's RSVP pens. So the first ones I saw were these Hawaiian print ones. And they're pretty cool, you know. They're like the little hibiscus um, designs on it. And this one is a medium. This is assorted ink, so... Grip matches ink color. Oh, so if if they had other colors, you would have gotten different ones. But this one, I guess, is black. So um, I guess I just made a generic packaging just so they could not say, hey, it's purple or red or whatever. So this one, I'm sure, is black. Okay. And then I also, um, when I looked a little bit closer, and I had picked up two of those because I know one of my um, friends was like very, loves these pens, and she's always into Hawaii, Hawaiian stuff. So I picked her up a package for her. I might give her both because... This, I have too many pens now as it is, and I don't write as much anymore anyway, so I don't mind just giving those to her. Because I also found these, I found, same thing, but this is a fine tip one. And it's like a, I guess like a animal print style, maybe cheetah print, I'm not sure. But this is a different type, fine print. And then when I showed you earlier, this purple one is a fine print, and I'm probably going to give this one to her too, because she loves purple. So I'll give her those. And then... I found camouflage and it's a medium type. That's why when I had taken a picture on Instagram, I didn't really notice it too much because I thought they were exactly the same because they're all very, very similar as far as the pattern from far away. You can't really, I thought when I took a picture, it was just like Hawaiian print. There was actually more. So I was kind of like, oh, okay. I picked up more of those. And then last one I got was just a plain one. I, yeah, it's just a medium print. It's just the plain one. Only things about these, they tend to lose ink a lot. That's one of the issues we used to get, but we love the way it feels, the grip, and how it um, writes. So it's really nice. So that's all I got from the 99 cent store. <laughs>
all sorts of things. So um, this says storage box and it says ribbon, I guess on this side. Gift for you, beads, handmade style life, woolen. That's for my yarn type things that I have. Sewing, because I do a lot of sewing and lace and buttons and a gift for you. Because I do have, I do a lot of crafting stuff like that. If you see my friend mails, I make a lot of things like this. So it's perfect to put it, if I was gonna wrap it up, put it in a bag, I could slap on a sticker and um, make it look really cute. So I picked up two of those. And now I have like, set of four. <laughs> I got that. But I did find this and I believe, I believe it's a deal as the one who had um, showed some of these and I found more. I found a whole box. So they must've just got these cause I just went there couple days ago to that same Dollar Tree and I found these fashion duct tapes that comes in a dispenser style and they come like that and you could just go ahead and, and it cut it from there but some red with polka dots I wish the dots were a little bit smaller because you could barely see it but then I guess it'd be cute to decorate your boxes your friend mails or anything you know but it's duct tape so it's really really sturdy so I got that one I got one with the Kind of like hippie butter, um, psychedelic tie-dye style ones. If you see that, I thought that was cool. And then I got the checkerboard, like for the races, like, you know, that's, you know, pretty basic looking, but that's neat, you know. I also got a camouflage, looky one. I wish the prints are a little bit smaller or, you know, a little bit more, you know, intricate. Or if they were like this, it would probably look better if it was a little wider size, but hey, it's, you know, it's still like washi tape and duct tape. And the last one I got was this, like, I guess kind of tie-dye-ish, but the colors are like kind of mangled in some way where they're um, blurry. I thought that was a cool effect. So I got that. And those are the, in fact, I guess I got all of them. That's five different colors. I didn't like leave any. If there was, there might've been some solids, but I don't really get the solid ones too much. So that's it for that one. And I also picked up some of um, hair ties. I was gonna put this in my mom's um, um, Mother's Day gifts because whenever I go to her house, I need hair ties. They get hot really quickly and she never has any. So I was just gonna put it there so she had some available for my nieces or whoever has to use hair ties. She has them. So that's that for that one. Um, I got these. I saw, I'm sure Pretty and Flot had um, all these. And I used to use these before back in the day um, in my car. And I, like, I forgot that they had these still because, you know, usually you pay a bunch like at Sunglass Hut. You never really see these at the store so much. So you put these on your visors for your um, sunglasses. And I do use sunglasses and I use my glasses. And I interchange them because they're both prescription. Right now I'm wearing contacts. But most of the time I use glasses. Um, and when I'm in the car, you know, like I'm always having to um, change and stuff. So I'd rather just leave my sunglasses in the car and then interchange and put my eyeglasses when I need to. So I picked one for my mom and one for myself. Okay. But I found um, these two new bags. I know I had hauled the bags, uh, the shoes, the high heel shoes. I thought that was really pretty. But uh, I found these that they had in the front and I thought these were cute. With the little, um, little like little purses. And I like the handle. It's not like a little stringy handle. It actually looks like a handle. I didn't realize there's like a little bling on it. That's cute. I really like the print on that one. And then this one, the purple with the butterflies. Kind of goes with those uh, somewhat like the spring towels, I believe. I think there was something like that before. Oh, butterfly stuff. So I got those for my mom and my aunt. And that's it for my Dollar Tree haul. Um, first off, I want to say Happy Mother's Day. And I wanted to go have shout outs to all the people that I, you know, have supported me to be put on to finally doing my um, YouTube hauls and on videos. So I wanted to say, um, Happy Mother's Day to these ladies. Pretty and Flawed, Jamie, 3140 Baby Girl, Jessalyn from me and my nuclear family, Tanya, The Frugal Cafe, It's a Deal, Sarah from Something Different, um, Kathy from No Guts, No Glory, Rachel Lacar 011, Hey Mama K, Stilicus 33, and Jilly Bean. And also for those who are pet owners or not moms yet, because I've been a pet owner for almost, uh, nine years now. Um, I've been married for 10 years, I'll tell you that story at least, uh, and, and we've been trying to have a baby for a very long time, and I'm really 
feeling blessed that we are. And this is going to be my first year having a baby. And I've been getting a lot of happy Mother's Days from people when they see me because I'm actually really, really large now. So um, it's just been really nice to hear it, you know. And, you know, I've, I've been a pet owner for a long time. And I still consider my dogs as my babies. So these are the three that I, I want to mention because they don't have um, kids just yet. Um, Steffi, Mary, and her two little Labradoodles, I believe is what she has, are so cute. And then there's Hello Tasha Kitty and her cats that, she, that come in every so often to her videos are so cute. And Chelsea's from Chelsea's channel, I know, I think she, believe, I believe she has a dog. I can't remember if she does. It could be a cat or a dog, but either or, they're pet owners. I know they don't have any children, so I want to say Happy Mother's Day to them too, because you're mothers to your little pets, so I love them. So I'll put a link below to all their channels in the description. Go ahead and check them out. They do a lot of different cool stuff, so. Just want to say happy Mother's Day again, and I hope you enjoyed my little collective haul this time. I just want to do them really quick so I can start um, putting these uh, Mother's Day gifts together. So, take care. Bye.